The latest of multiple updates regarding his professional life, Bharat Pay co-founder Ashneer Grover resigned today from the company. Just a few days ago, it was his wife Madhuri Jain Grover who had been sacked due to alleged financial irregularities, which included producing fake invoices to billing the company for beauty treatments. Well, in a letter addressed to the Bharat Pay board, Grover had said. I write this with a heavy heart as today I am being forced to bid adieu to a company of which I am a founder. I say with my head held high that today this company stands as a leader in the fintech world. Since the beginning of 2022 unfortunately I have been embroiled in baseless and targeted attacks on me and my family by a few individuals who are ready not only to harm me and my reputation but also harm the reputation of the company which ostensibly they are trying to protect the letter also stated from being celebrated as the face of indian entrepreneurship he is now fighting a very lonely battle against the investors now the reason why uh, grover has been so prominently in the news is because of the meme worthy fame he has found through the reality show shark tank india although grover is the man of the moment controversially speaking there are a whole range of entrepreneurs out there who had it all and then lost it take for example the triumvirate of vijay malya nirav modi and mehul choksi who have been the favorite punching bag of news anchors frothing at their mouth most of the time now the most famous of course amongst these is vijay malya once lauded as india's liquor baron who was always surrounded by beautiful air hostesses glamorous bollywood stars but who did go a tad bit too far when he got Enrique Iglesias to perform at his mega birthday bash while thousands of his Kingfisher Airlines employees were protesting about not being paid their salaries he moved to britain in march 2016 and his problems have only multiplied since then with the income tax department central bureau of investigation and several others investigating him As of last week 18000 crores has been returned to banks from Nirav Modi, Mehul Choksi and Malya. But the way things are going, expect at least one more Netflix series on Malya's life to be made. Now the poster boy of young entrepreneurship in India, Rahul Yadav of housing.com is another great example. He became a classic case of becoming too big for one's boots, founding the site in 2012. to fill up the housing shortage in india by 2015 he was the hottest entrepreneur on the block but the same year also saw a reversal of his fortunes in june 2015 he was fired by the company citing his behavior towards investors the ecosystem and the media this after a mail of his went viral which he had sent to investor shailendra singh threatening to vacate the firm if they didn't stop messing around with him Well currently he is the chief technology officer with property consultants Anarok and while he slowly slowly nurses his wounds one has a feeling that this is one kid who will be making a comeback the last entrepreneur i would like to mention today is vg siddhartha the founder of cafe coffee day now if a study is ever conducted it is possible that this coffee chain its outlets would be the place where the maximum number of young indians had their first fifth and last dates Most of us have very fond memories of our college dates waiting for that special someone to walk in while we waited with bated breath. But for the founder, things were turning ugly behind the scenes. In September 2017, a tax raid was conducted on over 20 of his locations in Mumbai, Bangalore and others. With mounting financial woes, he was found dead on July 31st, 2019 near Mangalore. He had been missing for the last 2 days. Now the stories of entrepreneurs who have had a fall from grace are too many to list over here but their contributions to our everyday life is tremendous take for example this very space from which i am shooting this video an entire building in andheri east mumbai of the co-working company we work funded by andrew newman who has been described as a narcissist delusional manipulative and certain other words which i can't even mention in this video